Okay, I don't have a tripod for this camera, so I think this is not even, so I'm sorry. So this week I have quite a bit of a different video for you guys. Normally when I film my normal mukbang videos, I have to take a whole day off and make sure I have time to go get the food and film and edit and all that stuff. I have been working on something super fun this week and it was like a multi-day thing, so I was not able to take a day off. So this week I'm gonna be eating Popeye's chicken. I'm actually on my lunch break right now at work filming this. I am so hungry. I started work this morning at four in the morning, if you guys can tell by my under eye bags. You guys have been requesting that I do this for months now. It's always been on my list of videos to do and I just have never done it. I just read yesterday that Burger King bought them so I thought I should go try them before like Burger King totally takes over and destroys it and sends it to hell. So I'm gonna be trying that today. They did have food for us at work. They had like chicken and salad and steak and stuff but I decided to go for the healthier fried chicken fast food option instead. Uh, but no, I know I wanted to get a video up for you guys, even though it is this kind of like crap show video. I'm sorry. So this looks like that very like fake mac and cheese, and I feel like it's going to be really good. For my main meal, I got, woo, I'm so excited. I got a three piece spicy chicken tender with biscuit and fries for my side, and then mac and cheese was my other side. Someone said they hate when I stick my tongue out in my thumbnails. This one's for you. For the sauces, I got barbecue sauce, and I got blackened ranch, which they had normal ranch, so I don't know what the difference is, but I'm going to be trying that. And some honey for the biscuits. Eee! And I have some ketchup. Okay, I want to eat. I actually don't have that much time. I only have a 30 minute lunch before I have to go back. I'm working today at Coyote Studios in West Hollywood. Okay, let me try this mac and cheese before I start blabbing. My first few videos that I ever did were car videos, and I have not done one in months, so I forgot how to do everything. Okay, I'm so sorry guys, this lighting blows. Ooh! Mmm! Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so when I was younger, I used to always love Hometown Buffet. It's like the most cheap, low-quality buffet. I don't know if they have those all over the place, but I used to love going there as a kid because their mac and cheese, and their mac and cheese tastes exactly like this. It's like identical. This just brought me back to my fat little childhood. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I had no idea. If I knew that this was my childhood mac and cheese, I would have gone there a long time ago. Mmm! Oh my god, I was actually locking my car. There's a ton of sauce. It's like super salty. It's really good. Mmm! Okay, I'm gonna try the, the main stuff. This is a five shot iced caramel macchiato. Not a great combo with this food, but still works. I decided to get this big one because, I don't know, I've been up since like 3 a.m. I have a lot of makeup on, so hopefully I don't look as busted and tired as I feel on the inside. Next, let's try the good stuff. I love ranch, so I'm gonna try this and see what the difference is. Okay, blackened ranch. Oh! It looks like, um, like sriracha ranch or something. It's like Chipotle ranch or something. I'm gonna try it with a big fat chicken. That's really good. Sorry, I know you can't see anything. All of this stuff was, um, it did come with a, a soda too. It was like 10 or $11. Mmm! This barbecue sauce is so good. Oh my god, I love this. It has a lot of like vinegar or something. It's not too sweet. This is so good. Why have I not gotten here before? Mmm. 
I'm going to try the biscuit. I heard you're supposed to put honey on it, so that's how I'm going to try it. This is good. It's like a, a pancake. I'm sorry. I never describe anything as anything other than so good. This is so good. Mm. Where's my barbecue sauce? The mac and cheese is filling me up so much already. I'm hoping that I get off of work early today because yesterday we worked, it was like a 14 hour day. We got out so late, but I'm going on a little trip in a couple weeks. It's like a baby trip, but I need to go buy a bathing suit and I'm going to go today. Hopefully I can go to the Beverly Center. So many cuddles. Um, this barbecue sauce is bomb. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Water. I have some diet coke. I haven't had Diet Coke in like a month, and then I just tried it when I got this. I don't really like it as much anymore. I don't know why. I feel like I can taste the artificial sweetener a lot, whereas before I think I was so used to drinking it. A guy's about to walk by with his dog, guys. I remember why I hate filming in my car. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. Oh my god, kill me. What was I just saying? Okay, I got distracted. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so yeah, I need to go get a bathing suit. If you guys have any suggestions of cute stores to go look at, let me know. I went to a place this past weekend called Santee Alley. It's here in LA. It's like this not so great part of downtown LA where they sell they just sell a bunch of really cheap stuff there's like a bunch of like vendors and booths i went a few years ago and i remember it being so cheap like you could get cell phone cases for like two dollars you could get like knockoff stuff you could get shoes and like shirts for five dollars like it's super cheap like wholesale kind of crap but it's fun to go to yeah i went there for the first time this past weekend in like a couple years and everything is so expensive now i think it's become more of like a tourist destination but I went looking for a bathing suit. A lot of them aren't even like wholesale vendors anymore. A lot of them have turned into like actual little stores and boutiques. So I walked into one and like the outside looked super like run down, like really bad. So I was thinking like, oh, this is going to be a cheap place. And I walked in, I picked up, it was just like the bikini top, the top part. And it was $70 for a bikini top. Well, I'm like, what the heck is this? This is the same price as like if I were to be shopping on Melrose in some nice boutique. Not in like a freaking alley that literally smells like piss, like it's so run down. I don't know how they can get away with charging that kind of stuff now, but I mean, I guess it's popular enough, but I did not have any luck there. So I'm going to try again, hopefully, if I get off work early enough. I also need to go to the post office, except my post office completely blows and they keep losing all my packages. One of my subscribers actually sent me a package around Christmas time and I kept going to the post office to pick it up and they could never find it in the back and then I finally got it like mid-February. This is a very active neighborhood. I also got one of you guys sent me a letter and I like literally could not even read it because it was it looked like it had been thrown in a puddle or something like the entire envelope was totally water damaged. It was also completely like 
ripped in half like the whole entire thing it ended up getting delivered to me from the post office in like a little plastic bag with a little note that said like we're sorry this was damaged in transit i was like damn right it looked like it went through a freaking tornado so yeah if you guys send me anything i will eventually get it it just may be like two months delayed and ripped in half apparently I don't have that much time left. I have to wolf this down really quick. I should be fine. I think I said this already, but the little studio I'm working on today is like pretty small and easy to access. It's when I work the big studios like Warner Brothers or Sony or Fox or anything. Those are humongous. And like from where you park to where you actually work will be like a one or two mile away difference. So it's such a hassle trying to get in and out of there. But I should be fine today. It's so funny to me. Some of you guys have asked me to talk about work stuff, and I don't know what you guys want to know, so. Maybe I'll do another Q&A, but it's so funny to me because, like, small studios like I'm working in today, like, the security is not, like, that great. Like, you can kind of just walk in. But the bigger studios, like Sony or Fox or Universal Studios, Warner Brothers, those are pretty tough to get into. You have to have some sort of, you have to be on some sort of guest list or you have to be going in for an audition or to work on a certain show or something. Like, they don't just let rando people walk in. But it's so funny to me because, like, once you're actually inside of the gates of these big studios, which, again, this is where they film, like, crazy big movies, music videos, TV shows. This is where there are some, like, huge famous people coming in and out. But once you're actually inside the gate, it's like no one cares about what you do. You can literally walk into any soundstage, any set, and just like pretend like you're working there and no one has any idea. Especially like these bigger TV shows, they have hundreds and hundreds of people that come in and out every single day that work on their show. So I could literally walk into like any show and be like, hey, I'm like an assistant wardrobe person today or oh yeah, I'm a makeup artist for today or something like that. And no one really can question you because there are hundreds and hundreds of different jobs and different people coming in and out. But it's so funny because I was, yeah, I was at Sony and they film one of my favorite TV shows there, like my favorite actor is there. And I know for a fact that they were shooting that day that I was there. And I was like, holy crap, if I was actually psycho, I could totally just walk into their show, walk into their trailers. They have all the actors always park with like their nameplates and everything out. I could totally like write down his license plate number. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do that because I'm not like that crazy, but it's very odd. There's just like not security at all once you're inside. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> you guys are going to try and break into all these studios now. Don't tell them you found that out from me. I'm gonna get banned from like every studio ever. Don't break into places you're not supposed to be. I'm just saying, if you wanted to, you could. <laughs> I love this barbecue sauce. This is that hometown buffet mac and cheese. I went to hometown buffet one time as an adult and it was like the worst food I've ever had in my entire life. The mac and cheese is good though. That's pretty much the only thing. I finished something in your face, haters. Who say I don't eat anything. I still have all this left. I have, oh, so I have three of these. I only have one left. Oh my God, this is a scary shape. What does this look like? An ant? Or it kind of looks like someone's like praying. I don't know. Amazing. Uh, so I have one of those left and then I just have these fries left. Ooh. I'm sorry if this is boring, guys. I'm boring. No, next week I'm going to have a normal cooking recipe video i just do not have time this week ah, my camera stopped on me because i was recording for too long so 
beautiful little babies that is gonna be it i will see you guys next week definitely check out popeyes i would go now before burger king destroys all the recipes and everything so good i'm so glad i tried it i would probably would not have tried it if it wasn't for you guys requesting it so thanks okay thank you guys so much for watching i feel so much more energized now that i've eaten this food oh my god this is bomb too thank you guys so much for watching i'm still eating actually but i have to get to work my camera's running out of space be sure to like this video if you liked it it really helps a lot and of course subscribe if you want to see more videos from me i love you guys thank you for watching i gotta go bye